What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. After a breakup or divorce, her DMs are flooded. <laughs> Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Let's get it. Pitch this and tell me. What's the one thing you wish everyone around you knew about getting divorced? Hmm. Well, not just about getting divorced, but breakups, right? Mm -hmm. Separations and things like that. Right. As a woman, there is men mm. waiting. Your vulnerability as a woman is extremely targeted. <laughs> if you even shed one tear, <laughs> he's going to go for your body. Mm. If you tell a man in your state of vulnerability that you are hurt, sad, upset, depressed, anything, he will take advantage of that. I'm here for you. That's what they say. I'm here for you. Or that guy was a complete a-hole. I don't even know why you're dating him. Listen, if you need anything, I'm here. If you just need a talk or anything, come over. What you doing right now? Even your boy best friend since pre-K of 20 years <laughs> will take advantage of your divorce, of your heartbreak, of your broken and ended relationship just to get inside of you. Mercy. Preach. You've been essayed. Now you're vulnerable. Your father died, now you're vulnerable. Your mom had cancer, now you're vulnerable. I don't care. It's time to get nasty. Open up when you're vulnerable if you want to. Okay, that can't the cancer and other things. That was <laughs> that's crazy. But did he lie? Did he lie? Comment down below. Let me know. As always, we're gonna check out some of these comments to see what the people have to say. First comment here comes from a woman. She actually agrees. She says, facts. Inbox was off the chain after I went through a breakup. Don't be flattered. Be offended. They're trying to take advantage of you. No, oh, they just want to check on you. They just want to make sure you're okay, right? Another woman responded and says, same. And my ex's closest friends were all trying. Mercy. Yeah, you guys out here, you think all your friends have got your back and they'll never smash your chick after it's all said and done. Eesh, you're in for a huge surprise. Another comment here says, I had a friend of over 10 years. The minute he knew I was getting divorced, he started explicitly hitting on me. It was so disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> you actually thought that this chick really believed that man was her friend for 10 years. That all he wanted to do was just hang out and get to know her because, you know, she just enjoyed her company. No, no, they want the cheeks. Every last one of them. In fact, another chick here responded back to that woman and said, same, lost to all my friends. She means they're male friends. When are you going to, when are you guys going to believe men when they tell you that they don't want to be just your friends? She lost all her friends. Yes, yes, not surprised. Another comment here says, I was absolutely shocked the moment my ex-husband changed his Facebook status. Before I even changed my name, dudes were sliding in my DMs. Mm. Another chick here says, I was taken advantage of. It does happen. Another comment says, I keep hearing bad things. What is the good side of these men? Well, accept men for who they are when it comes to their sexuality, is that they will try everything to legally talk their way into your panties. Some single, some married, some in relationships, but it's not right. I didn't say it was, I didn't say it was. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right, but does it happen a lot? Another comment says, literally I'm crying because my ex was shot. My male friend starts reaching up my dress, no cap on my birthday. Yep. Listen, listen, this is terrible. First of all, shouldn't have done that. This is definitely borderlining SA and is not excusable behavior at all. Yeah, not cool. Listen, man, this is why you shouldn't have female friends who you want to smash and you're just trying to pretend like you're their friend and then you end up doing crazy, uh, stupid things like that, which is just a violation of somebody's boundaries. Don't have female friends. Female friends do not serve you. Acquaintances, people who you work with, yeah. Especially if you're in a relationship. It gets difficult, right? It just gets difficult because situations will arise. Eventually, women end up confessing that like, you know what? All that stuff I used to hear that like all men, male fr all my male friends would smash, they eventually end up saying, you know what? I actually believe that now. Listen, guys, as always, I'm curious to know what you think. Comment down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.